G'day, it's Fugitive Australian journalist Shane Dowling from the website kangarooquarteroftraya.com. Now, yesterday, Monday the 22nd of January 2024, corrupt former police officer Roger Rogerson died. Uh, he was meant to be involved in numerous murders. He was currently in jail. Well, up until his death, he was in jail for murder. Uh, exactly how many murders he was involved in is unknown, up to 10 or 12, they say. And he was also involved in running a protection racket for criminals, drug dealers, etc., in Sydney, New South Wales. Whether he's dead or not, who cares? He was obviously a career criminal, crop as. But his connections to uh, Alan Jones is what I want to explore. I've written about it before in articles back in 2015. And also his relationship with Margaret Canine, former Crown Prosecutor for New South Wales. She obviously had the ability to cover up crimes herself, which she did do in the Scott Volkers matter, pedophile matter. And that would have come in handy uh, for Alan Jones as well. Now, now, all three of them were friends, and we'll explore that. And actually, a uh, recent article I did on Alan Jones, who's currently in hiding in the UK because uh, he's had numerous sexual, new sexual uh, assault allegations made against him. I say new because he's had plenty before as well. Uh, when he was a teacher at uh, the King's School, for example, in Sydney. Now, I'm going to read you from a couple of articles I wrote in 2015, and then the latest article I wrote about Alan Jones. I'll just read you extracts from them, and it gives you the full picture, well, not the full picture, but the picture of uh, that relationship between uh, Roger Rogerson, Alan Jones, and uh, Margaret Canine, which is very dodgy. It should be investigated. I think the New South Wales Independent Commission Against Corruption should investigate it. Now, I'll start off with reading the extract from the article I wrote in April 2015, and it's titled, Prosecutor Margaret Canine Lies to Hide Friendship with Killer Roger Rogerson, etc. Crown Prosecutor Margaret Canine is a compulsive liar who has been caught out badly contradicting herself in separate interviews with News Corp and Fairfax Media. In this article, we'll also have a closer look at Canine's dodgy background, which includes, one, connections to major criminals such as Roger Rogerson, and number two, helping alleged pedophiles such as Scott Volker's walk free. Now, May 2015, I published an article titled 2GB's Alan Jones sent love letters to a schoolboy. Why has he never been charged with grooming? Well, for starters, uh, his relationship with Margaret Canine would have helped out. She could have quashed um, any uh, invest oil potential charges. And Roger Rogerson could have helped out without a doubt too because he uh, worked in the King's Cross area as a police officer at their command there in King's Cross, where obviously uh, Alan Jones used to haunt there for uh, underage schoolboys, try and pick them up at a place called The Wall. Now, the article starts off, Alan Jones' conduct at the King's School might help explain his strange support for Crown Prosecutor Margaret Canine. As I previously wrote, Canine has a history of helping sweep pedophile allegations on the carpet in the Scott Walkers matter. Now, later in the article, I say, in 2009, Alan Jones launched the book, The Dark Side, for career criminal and former police officer Roger Rogerson. When this was raised again last year, when Rogerson was charged with murder and drug dealing, Alan Jones tried to distance himself from Rogerson. Jones said he did not know Rogerson and was only at the book signing at the request of the book publisher. And who else was at Rogerson's book signing? None other than Alan Jones' other good friend, Margaret Canine. What a small world. So back in 2015, there's more than enough evidence to show that Rogerson, Margaret Canine, and Alan Jones were three stooges uh, covering up crimes without a doubt. Not only a week or so ago, on January 18th, 2024, I published an article titled Alan Jones' Numerous Fake Defamation Threats Catch Up With Him So He Hides in the UK with Boyfriend Jake Thrupp. Alan Jones is hiding in the UK because he won't back up the legal threats he made against the SMH who recently exposed more of Jones' alleged sexual assaults of young men. Jones has concealed sexual assault and pedophile allegations against him for years via legal threats and the protection of Australia's old media. Now, in that article, I talk about ADH, a new media company that's set up by uh, Alan Jones. And I say, and I quote the Sydney Morning Herald and say, that ADH board members include Nick Cater, Barrister Margaret Canine, SC, Gillis Delaney Law Partner, Anthony Jeffries, and Florida-based fund manager Rowan Parchy. So there's Margaret Canine's name popping up again, alongside Alan Jones, who owns ADH, from what I can tell. They're a bit uh, iffy on the ownership there, but uh, looks like Jones is the one behind the scenes pulling the strings. So I'll put a link to all those articles uh, below this video on YouTube, so you can read ba the background yourself. 
So there you have it, Alan Jones, who had direct access to the former Prime Minister, John Howe, I think he was Prime Minister for 10 or 11 years, and Alan Jones could ring up direct to his office and speak to his uh, advisors directly. Um, it shows you that uh, Alan Jones had direct access to criminals who could cover up crimes, crimes of, say, pedophilia, which Jones has been alleged to have done for many, many years. So that's why his relationships with Margaret Keneen and Roger Rogerson would have come in handy for Alan Jones. But it also shows that major criminals like Alan uh, Roger Rogerson, the only one step away from the Liberal Party hierarchy. And Margaret Keneen's a Liberal Party player herself. She shows up to the various Liberal Party functions and supports them. And you click on those links to those articles and you read a lot more about the background. And Kangaroo Court of Australia's independent media, I publish a website and a YouTube channel. And I'm 100% crowdfunded from viewers like yourself. So please support my Patreon account. I currently have 339 patrons donating $2,341 a month. And I need to almost double that to become financially viable. You can donate any amount, $3, 5 10 15 20 30 40 $50 a month, whatever suits your budget. It all helps out. And the link for the Patreon account will be below this video on YouTube and also on my website. And please share this video on social media. Other than that, thank you for your time and have a good day.